Welcome back, welcome back. We are having a very special 726 in Mountain Home, and this is our uh, dedication to the Red, White, Blue Festival that happens each and every year in the Mountain Home area. And with us to talk about it, are you the uh, coordinator this year? Yes, sir. Is that your official title? Yes. Does it take oh, you all year I've been to get ready for this? Off, yeah, the, yeah, a lot of different parts of the year is filled with red, mm. white, and blue, yes. I, yeah, I <laughs> bet so because it, it's a full three-day festival. Right. Yeah, it starts on Friday. Two days on campus. Two and days then on campus. The third day is our special church service that you'll learn more about later on. Okay. So, yeah. But it is. It's a whole host. And so are all the activities on the Mountain Home, uh, the SU campus, except the car show. Yes. Is at the Baptist mm -hmm. Church. And of course, the parade comes through downtown. But everything else is going to be held on campus. Yes, everything else will be on campus mm -hmm. at some point. You know, the the five k run is going to be Saturday morning, and mm -hmm. they'll be running, uh, I think, ending on campus. I'm not sure exactly where all they start, but you'll meet up on campus, get registered, and mm -hmm. then go for the run. Oh, I'd forgotten about that. They yeah, do have it's that big like, firecracker. Right right five. I've never run in that one ever. Okay. Uh, yeah, they started about 7 a.m. Yeah, they still, do it nice and early, so it's, it's not too bad. It's still in the pretty heat, toasty. But it is toasty. But it is pretty toasty. Yeah. But yeah. Well, my sister will be in town. Maybe we'll get drag Pam over there. And something else I have to mention, because I usually help out the Paul Bunyan Pancake Breakfast yes. over at the Catholic Church. They yes. have a huge turnout. They are awesome. The Knights of Columbus, they're a sponsor and an event uh -huh. as well. They do both. And that's part of what go the money from the Paul Bunyan Pancake Breakfast goes to the Red, White, and Blue Festival. Uh -huh. They also let us sell Jewels for You tickets, which uh -huh. the pendant is amazing. It's so gorgeous. And and they're, they're just wonderful. The Knights of Columbus are a great group of men and do yeah. a lot of good work well, that's, in the community. I think it's $5 and it's all you can eat. Oh, yeah. Uh, Let's and see, there's biscuits and gravy and pancakes uh -huh. and sausage, I think. Yeah, yeah they do. Yeah, yeah it's, they, a it's, it's a good you'll breakfast. It's a good breakfast. You'll leave full. So it's it's yeah. not just pancakes. No, no it's just it's it, not just pancakes. No, they okay. just it's called the Paul Bunyan Pancake Breakfast, but oh, they have more stuff in oh, there. Oh, yeah, they have more, more they always stuff do. on there. And it's, it's always a real, it's over at the Catholic yeah. Church. And so uh, what starts out on Friday, do you remember? Friday, the kickoff will be the parade. Okay. And lineup will begin at 415. And depending on what kind of a vehicle you have is where you line up, like the bands, they're going to be starting out mm -hmm. more towards First Security Bank there by the hospital drive. And the horses, they're going to be lining up by the cardiovascular area on uh, Bern Burnett, Man. I believe. Is that right? Yep, Burnett. Mm -hmm. And we got the chicks in spur <laughs> to help out. Yeah. Yes. And so, and then the, the um, actually, Burnett's were the floats, and then they're off the other way. Yeah. yeah. Buttercup, but yeah, a lot of them. Yeah, buttercup. So, buttercup. so all in that area right there around the hospital is where the the parade will it come right down Main Street yep. and then head over toward the fairgrounds down like Main it usually Street. Does. Okay. Yep. and they'll split off uh, what used to be Guy Berry. So or okay. what is then, Guy Berry? But and yeah. then Friday night it says there's music on the square. Except this time the square is going to be the ASU campus on campus. So after yes. the parade mm -hmm. you'll go over to campus and yes. there'll be Enjoy live that. music and stuff like that. So yep. that's that's Friday. And then also it says there's going to be a movie on Absolutely. campus, which is also Friday. Madagascar three. Oh, how nice. So it's a lot of fun. That one came out at uh, the end of last year, and okay. so it'll be a lot of fun to sit and watch it, and just a great time. It's a good, well, funny movie. Will the music movie. be going all along with the movie, or is, it, is um, there a cutoff time for the music? Yeah, or, the music yeah. will end shortly before 9.30, and then 9.30 the movie will start okay. once it gets good and dark. Because it gets dark around yeah. 9 now. Yeah, yeah. 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 So by, by 9.30, you've got a nice amount of darkness. You can start your movie up and, and just go for a good time. Oh, well, that, that's good. And, but, and, and it's important to say that this is free of charge. You don't have to. It is absolutely free of charge. And thanks to a lot of wonderful sponsors in the community, mm -hmm. we have people who donate every year. They just, they are so good about it. It's in their budget. They plan on mm -hmm. it and they donate. And then we've got folks who be uh, part of the Jewels for You tickets mm -hmm. and they'll buy those every year. And we've also started something new this year. We had a pork butt fundraiser. Awesome. Coach okay. Barnhill is amazing. He uh -huh. is the chef for us. And he, we did that before Memorial Day and we're, it went so successfully we're doing another round. So when you come to the festival you can actually order a pork butt and you can get it on July the 2nd just in time for the 4th of July. Uh -huh. So. Wow. So there's lots of ways to help support the festival. Okay. Whether you're a business or an individual, um, going to the pancake breakfast helps support. Mm -hmm. Uh, just being part of all these great events. So now, what's KTLO doing this year? KTLO, they are doing um, the big radiothon, and we're going to be having that. And we have a special thing going on with the radiothon. We are um, doing the VIP parking again. That went over really well. Uh, 
about a year ago, two years ago, I think we did it, and it went over really well. And we didn't do it last year, and this year we've had so many people ask about it, mm -hmm. we brought it back. Okay, now what is the VIP the parking? The VIP parking is you will have a reserved parking area. So when you come to the fireworks festival, you have a special spot to park. You don't oh, have wow. to worry about parking. So everybody who said, oh, I'm so afraid of parking, just call into the Radiothon. It's on 97.9, mm -hmm. and they're gonna, we're going to be doing it from 6 to 10 o'clock on the 21st of June. And so come on, give a $50 donation, it'll get you a parking spot. Oh, wow, that's very yeah. nice. So. And there's lots and lots of kids. I put my glasses back mm -hmm. on no matter how far. If I got it out here just far enough, I probably could read it. But uh, the pony rides, you said, were free this yes. year. So yep. we got pony rides and train rides and bounce houses and a frontier Indian encampment. All sorts of fun stuff. Oh, good grief. All, it looks like uh, face painting, of course, and the famous turtle races. To explain yes. the turtle races, because that's a quite Turtle thing. races. You can sign up in advance at the main bank okay. of First Federal and get signed up in advance of the festival. Or after the parade, come on over to the campus and start getting signed up. And the races are going to be about 7.30. They do oh. the races on Friday night. Yeah, and you have to have your own turtle. We yes. don't bring provide turtle. turtles. We, okay, so bring a yeah, turtle. We do not provide turtles. Okay. <laughs> but, but yeah, it's big fun. It's a great event. Mm -hmm. And we even have a person calling the action. Um, uh, Mountain Country is going to be coming out, yeah. the radio station, and they're going to be coming out and doing the play by play of the turtles. So mm -hmm. that's a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. And so a lot of great things happen. We want to let people know that no turtles are harmed during the during the race. The no, we're, we're no very jockeys careful. Or, no, yeah, no, no jockeys, anything no like jockeys, no jockeys or anything. Okay. Yeah, no jockeys on them. And um, so, but the turtle races are great. And like I said, you can get that information at First Federal. Okay. So yeah, no. I like that. No yeah. harming. It says there's going to be a military display for the National Guard. Yes, they're going to have some vehicles out there. And we're, something really cool mm -hmm. is they're doing Humvees in the parade. Oh, Each yeah. of the Whoa. family, the, the guardsmen's families, they're going to get to ride in Humvees. Mm -hmm. And they're going to be part of the parade this year. So we're really excited about that. And we love our guardsmen. They're one, or men and women, sure. actually. Mm -hmm. Wonderful folks. And they do so much good in our community, in our country, everywhere. Well, so. also says you've got local business and craft or merchant booths. Have you had that before? Yes, yes. Uh -huh. oh, well, I don't remember ever seeing the craft booths and stuff. Yeah. But you've got the Civil War reenactment. Uh, uh -huh. Which is firing and they a cannon every hour, yeah, so and they're not warn a few cars. people. Yeah, yes. Yeah, so people don't get really excited <laughs> about that kaboom, you know, because that can shake some people up. Yes, our fireworks guys didn't know it was going to happen the first year. Yeah. They, they they thought they were about to die. They, they were right in the middle of all the fireworks setting them uh, up yeah, when this cannon, cannon they hit the ground. Oh, and now every year they never tell the new guy. It's kind of an initiation. <laughs> they watch him just freak out. So, uh -huh. okay. Now it also says you have a country showdown on Saturday. What is yes, that? Yes, that's the Texaco Country Showdown. Okay. That's put on by KTLO, and the Boot and Classic Hits, and they. It's just a big event, a lot of fun, and what that is, it's it's a part of a national talent competition. Mm -hmm. It's a local level. And the winner of this level will go to the state level, and then the state winner to regional and international. And uh, it's just a great event. Now, where event. will that be held at? It's going to be at Dunbar Auditorium. Okay. Now, that's Saturday mm -hmm. also. Yes. So, Saturday evening sometime? Saturday evening, yes. Okay. And that's going to be at 5 o'clock. And it's just, like I said, it's a great event. You can go on out there, watch some great artists, and, and cheer them on. And there's also going to be a fun halftime show. So they're going to be playing a little round of Finish the Lyrics. And so the audience gets to come up and sing and try their hand at finishing oh, a song. Funny. So it should mm -hmm. be a lot of fun. Yep. And despite the heat, there will be a cooling zone. Yeah. Yes. Oh, yeah, that went over really great. We have this wonderful tent that was donated to us. Mm -hmm. And what we do is put misters all the way around. Mm -hmm. and, then, and that way it helps bring the temperature down in that area. And it just works out really well. And we have that up on the concrete mm -hmm. so that for folks who can't navigate the grass and things like that. Um, speaking of which, we are going to have our transportation again this year to help you get from parking lot to festival. Um, we'll go through all the parking lots in the campus and bring people close down to where the action is. And we have wonderful... Um, sponsors that help us with that the twin lakes is golf it course kind of like an ongoing shuttle service mm -hmm. yes okay. little golf cart. we have golf mm -hmm. carts but this year i think we're going to actually have a van as well to help us get a few more people transported so okay well, good. yeah good. we're excited about that well this starts friday uh-huh june the 28th 
and it goes uh, it's a three-day event till Sunday mm -hmm. yes sir it's, it uh, is. Saturday and Sunday is all day and then I think uh, no Friday and Saturday Friday is Saturdays. from 5 to 9 o'clock it's not an all-day event I'm sorry it's uh, from 5 to 9 o'clock I mean uh, 5 to 11 o'clock on Friday mm -hmm. I was thinking vendors mm -hmm. the, right. the but um, mm -hmm. 5 to 11 o'clock on Friday because of the movie and right. then 5 to 10 o'clock on Saturday because of the fireworks so mm -hmm. by the time fireworks go off at 925 and by the time people clearing off campus the police and the sheriffs do such an amazing job. The, the folks from there, they help us to get the people on campus, off campus, mm -hmm. and just in a great amount of time. We also have the hospitals part of this. They have EMTs out there right on hand. They have the, the wagons out there, you know, the, the emergency vehicles, the fire departments part of this, water and sewer department. Um, all the city and county help make this happen. Mm -hmm. All of their workers are amazing, and we just get a tremendous amount of support, and we really appreciate all of them. Are you pretty well situated with volunteers? So no, you, we need volunteers. Still we do, still need, need volunteers, okay. yes, right. because we have a lot of things that they can do. We have the kids zone. We have transportation. They can help drive golf carts. Mm -hmm. They can help in the information booth. Um, and they can also help just, you Is there know, any traffic by, control that needs yeah. to be. Um, traffic there? control, the police usually handle okay. that. And then we have a great group of young people from the college, the Criminal Justice League, uh, Criminal Justice uh, Club mm -hmm. is going to be our VIP parking attendants. Oh, well, nice. and, um, a hand, and we also have a handicapped parking lot that is monitored. Uh, they're going to be taking care of that as well. Mm -hmm. So to get into the handicapped parking spot, you have to have your handicap pass. Mm -hmm. uh, or else they won't be parking you in there because what happens so often is you'll have handicapped parking as well, any other place in town. Mm -hmm. People will abuse it and so this way kind of hold it for those who really need right. it. Mm -hmm. So right. we're going to be yeah. doing that too. Well we need to tell a little bit more right quick. I know we're going along here on the, the jewelry. Oh my gosh the because jewelry. Because we have to specifically mention that. That is a fundraiser. Mm -hmm. It is our biggest fundraiser. Mm -hmm. It is the primary you know source of income I would say of the festival and it's a dollar a ticket mm -hmm. or five ticket, uh, six tickets for five dollars. Mm -hmm. I mean you can't beat it. It's mm -hmm. great. It is worth over $7,000 this year. It's a gorgeous, has an heirloom look to the piece, just beautiful. And it's designed by Car Carter's Jewel Carter's Chest. Carter's Jewel Chest. Each year they design, donate, they do all of the banner, all the little um, flyers you see, mm -hmm. they pay for that. Mm -hmm. It does not come out of the Jewels for You money. Every single penny from Jewels for You goes to the Red, White, and Blue Festival. Wonderful. And you can buy the tickets several places and it'll be given yes. away on Saturday night. You can go to your favorite banker. Okay. They will probably have them at their facility. Most of the bankers in town are helping with that. And you can also go to the Chamber of Commerce. You can go to Carter's Jewel Chest. And then, of course, on campus, they're going to have people stationed at the entrances and stuff and also walking around. The Carters have a, a tent and they give out balloons when you come up to buy a ticket and just fun. Okay, and when will they give the piece away? Saturday the night? The piece will be given away at Saturday night at 9.05. We'll draw the ticket. Okay, Neat. all right. So. And if you want more information, you can go to uh, the website Red White Blue, Red White Blue Festival .com. Yes, sir. And for a full itinerary of what's mm -hmm. going on, you can find, I guess you can find these around town also. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. Right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate being here. you guys. Yeah, good Thank luck you. with that. And you didn't mention yep. the food. Oh, oh, There's Tina will get me. Okay. We do have to say okay. the food. Okay. Let's say the there food. There is. Oh my gosh, so much good food. Deep fried everything. There's barbecue. <laughs> there is. Man um, always wants to know Going to be snow cones and ice, ice okay. and okay. I'm not broths. To at these the, the knights are coming with their broths. Oh, the are going with they are. They're doing that as a fundraiser for the food bank. So these guys are awesome. Oh I yeah, mean, they are. They're a wonderful group. Gosh, of guys. we got a great bunch of people helping so, out. So yeah, deep, deep fry. Lots everything deep fried on a stick you can imagine. About all kinds. Yeah, yeah, just all kinds of stuff. <laughs> <laughs> very Thank good. You very so much. come hungry. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Let's take a break. Up next, we'll be talking with Tim Stevens and Danny Ponder about the Bar None Cowboy Church, and also the pony rides and the Sunday service. Stay with us. Yeah. <laughs> 